How y'all doing, my die-hard R. Kelly fans and supporters? On this Sunday, early on Sunday morning, he arose. Yes, I come with you today with some Shirley Caesar. Yes, some Shirley Caesar. I wanted to show y'all. Last time I was on here, I had to run out of here to get my head done. I had a birthday party celebration that evening, so I just got cut off my video when I was talking about, you know, betrayal and um, talking about are you leading... Are you called to be a leader or are you called to be a follower? So, that was cut off. But today I come to tell you, like, you know, whatever, it's not what goes in of you, inside of you. It's what's come, what, what is, what comes out of you. <clears throat> Sorry for stumbling with my words because I try to, you know, get this thing done real quickly as possible. Friends try to remind, Friends try to remind you. The sins of your The sins of your past. So anyway, so um, I was just talking about like it's not what goes inside of a person, but it's what's come out of a person. Now, if you're not sure about anything, you just don't say anything. That's the way. That's how I feel. You know, I try to tame my words, tame my tongue. Um, of course, sometimes we slip up and we say things. But if you don't have anything good to say, don't say it at all. That's the way I feel. My hair is just so staticky right now. You know, I've been, you know, I had a, a, a real, you know, a, a something else Saturday night. That, that This peach crown, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I was saying, you know, folks have a habit of saying certain things, but then they try to take it back. You can't take back what you already put out there. If that's what you feel from the beginning, that's what you felt. So, um, I went on this particular blogger's post today because they're trying to cover it up, damage control, whatever, because Dana exposed something that you said to the public how you felt about R. Kelly. You know, God ain't no fool. You know, God is your audience. God is, eyes is everywhere. Okay? So, you got to really be careful about some of the stuff you put out there. Even me, myself, I'm guilty of it. Um, I don't know how many of y'all could remember the Eddie Long trial, God bless his soul, he's gone and everything, he's no longer with us, and I remember when that news broke out, the scandal about Eddie Long, this um, high profile minister, Bishop Eddie Long, in Lithonia, Georgia, and everybody already know that, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia, period, is known for a high rate of homosexual, transgenders, whatever, in that community, in that place. And they say the same about New York, but yeah, we know that. I know that. But anyway, I'm just saying, you know, I jumped on the bandwagon with the scandal on Eddie Long, okay? Because of the time that it had happened, I was going through something personal in my own life about the church. I had my own personal thing going on with me about the black churches. You know, something I was dealing with personally, my own personal thing. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I, you know, I'm guilty of it because I know I jumped on the bandwagon too without doing my research and everything else. Yes, I have been in some kind of, um, you know, being, being the fact that I, you know, was in a high profile church myself and Eddie Long was one of our guest speakers for our men's day. And I grew up looking at ministers in a certain type of way. You know, it's from what I've known from a child. You know, I don't. I, I can't get with you being serious when you're on a pulpit and you're not wearing the robe. You're not wearing a robe. You know, something that you just got to put on when you come in to address your your, your, your um, congregation. So, anyway, moving on. You know, this is my new channel, you know, because this is the R. Kelly thing. But I go back to my old channel where I was on talking about Eddie Long. But then as I looked into things about Eddie Long... As all of this passed over, um, I noticed that um, I was wrong. You know, because this man was not found guilty in the court of law, and none of these allegations that were made against him ever went to a court. But then I had to remember that, you know, something behind all of this that Eddie Long led a uh, a large amount of people to follow him fighting against same-sex marriages. He was known for that movement. And I was like, wow. So, of course, like they did R. Kelly. 
But my time is running out on this video, so I'll get back with you all about this story later. Because I got to run anyway.